since the day I opened, my teenage elementary school and teenage girls are always the record holders and pull-ups and push-ups and sit-ups. You can ask the boys that are their age who's winning all the presidential fitness cups and who's winning the pull-up contests. I want you to drop the push-up without bending your arms. It starts off with basic calisthenics. Sit-ups, push-ups, pull-ups, tuck jumps, running, jumping. We just do it like massive numbers. We do tons of handstand push-ups, clapping push-ups, push-ups moving side to side, pull-ups in all hand, different hand positions, chest pulls where like pull-ups where your feet are up as high as your legs and you're pulling your chest to a bar. Everybody does mountain climbers. We do them sometimes with weights. In order to be at your level, you have to be at a, a certain level of strength. The skills, the skills required. Yes, that clear hit was the, my favorite clear hit that I've seen you do ever in history since you were born. Daryl is like the strictest person you can have <laughs> on conditioning. He's like 20 push-ups, and then if you like get to like 15 and one person does it wrong, you're like, okay, I have to start all over. <laughs> Performing things like what we call over splits, where the girls have their legs, they're in the splits on the floor and their legs up anywhere from two inches to six or, or even ten inches above where the hip lines are trying to do over splits. It's not an uncommon practice. We do all the basic stretches that they do in school. Pike stretches, straddle stretches, we just take it further. Without the flexibility, they wouldn't be able to get into some of the extreme positions that they have to get into. And without strength, once they got into those positions, there's a strong likelihood that they could injure themselves. Either you're not flexible enough, and you're going at it as hard as you can way too early, in which case you rip something, or you crash, not that you break bones, but if you're not flexible and you fall in the wrong way, things can get hurt. And by the same token, when you do crash like that, if you're strong within that flexibility, you have a better chance of surviving. You know, it's not an extreme sport, but if you want to be good, you have to go wider than everybody else.